Hello everyone, it's Rich Charger here with another video, a weekly video. I believe this will be number 20, round number. Nothing too crazy about this video, but I have some interesting stuff to show you today. One of them is this thing. It's a mystery pack, which I did want to open last time, but I forgot accidentally. But it's not a big mystery because I know, at least by touching the car inside, I am at least 95 or 99 even percent sure it's going to be the Datsun. And that because that is the one I want. The Subaru is cool, but I'm mostly aiming for the Datsun. So, that is that. Let's put that here. Um, last video I did open the 51st anniversary cars. For this video I should be opening the 52, well I will be opening the 52 cars, at least what I have from, I have found from them. But, by searching them, uh, through my storage, I stumbled upon this guy. On the last video I tell, I was actually tell, uh, speaking of this car that I want to, I would like to get this one also. Here it is. Whoops. Yeah, it's, we can say that it's a big whoops. <laughs> because, um, yeah, apparently I had it. I just missed it somehow while I was going through the storage. But we're going to open it on this video. That's that. From the 52 anniversary cars that I have obtained are these three. The 55 Shale V Bel Air, the 68 Corvette monkey, uh, Gas Monkey Garage, and the 32 Ford. So these are the three I have I was able to obtain during my, well, during the collection. Well, well, I was actually searching for them, or maybe find them in the wild, or somebody maybe offering them for a cheap price because there were some people that offered me the remaining three that I'm missing for a very big price and i was like mm, nope not that crazy not that crazy to get them so since i decided to open them so right now it doesn't even matter anymore yeah those are gonna be those three then for our basic well sort of basic main lines i usually do the basic lane lane lines but this time we have some interesting vehicles we have a zamac big air bel air which I do collect this casting, really love this casting. And I have seen it in a five pack somewhere. I just didn't get it, but I will get it in, in eventually. And <clears throat> in a different color variation that doesn't come uh, like separately, it's gonna be a five, a five pack version. And I know that on the end of this year, uh, maybe some of you already have it, but I know I don't, but I will get it will be in the premiums uh, for the first time as a premium model uh, in the off-roader car culture. No, it's not car culture. I forgot. I mean, it's car culture. Yeah, maybe it could be. Basically, it's going to be a premium in an off-road set, which I can't wait to get. And also, we have a Datsun Bluebird Wagon 510 from 2020. And we got this old guy, the Ford Fairlane from 2009 <laughs> and the other three cars are some more muscles so this guy is the Chevrolet SS from 2013 this one's an interesting one it comes with the stickers so I don't know what gives about the stickers this is an interesting packaging. Got it from a friend who was buying stuff from Whatnot. Now that I know that I can, I'm able to buy stuff from Whatnot, so I might be eventually getting some very cool stuff. So this one came from there, so I don't know. This is from 2011. Blue driver pick. I don't know what, what's up with the stickers thing. And the other, in the last, we have another Zamac. This one came from a full collection. I decided not to open the entire set. 
here because I have some cards which I have already opened. So I'm just going to randomly pick my cards for the future and open what I can, like what I decide along the way. This is the Dodge Demon. <laughs> From, what was this set released? 2017. Okay, then we have some more Hot Wheels. This one also came from the Whatnot um, that my friend got. I think it, this one came from Whatnot. I'm pretty sure it did. It did. Oh, what's happening? My camera decided to change the lighting for some reason. I am sorry for that. Let me just turn that off. Okay, that was weird. Yeah, so premium Ford Escort R1600. Got that one. Then we got a team transport, which I wasn't what didn't want to get in the when it was actually everywhere. And I actually got it for super cheap right now. And uh, I only decided because I actually started liking this Corvette a lot recently. Mostly uh because I'm playing for some more sport. Uh, so I just got more and more into these type of race cars. So yeah, I decided to get this. Now let's put that on the side there. Then that's it for Hot Wheels. Then we got two Auto Worlds. We have a Lincoln Continental and a Dodge Caravan. Last time we opened the Plymouth Voyager. Now this is the Dodge Caravan. There we go. And then we have this guy. Also, I think came from whatnot. Uh, the Tarmac Works Miho Exclusive. This is uh, the Datsun Bluebird 510 Wagon Moon Eyes version. So I know there's like two, maybe more versions of the Moon Eyes. I wasn't lucky enough to get the one that I was able to get. I just, when I decided to get it, it was already gone. So, and apparently this one uh, is a different version from the one I was planning to get. So I'm, I'm guessing the other one had like a black top or something or a black bottom. I don't remember exactly. It was also a Moon Eyes version. And, and for this also, I got a loose version. Basically, the car is in there. I checked it. it is, everything is fine with it. And it's also the... Uh, this is the Bree Datsun. And it's also basically this guy. Only with the Bree Datsun look. So, yeah. That is all for this. Today's opening that we'll be opening up. Let me just put everything to the side. What comes first, what comes last. Let's start with this mystery pack. We so get this like plan so you can have a like little coloring. And the cat's meowing in the background. Shoo! Uh, you can add the. This is more mostly for kids. You can add like these lines to make it make the car whole. And here are the cars that you can get in this these this package. Of course, the most sought out are those. Nobody really cares about the bottom cars, unless you collect any of these fantasy things. I know this one's pretty cool. Everything else is kind of meh. Okay, then what is this? This is. Oh, it's a sticker. Okay, that's cool. I'll put it on my laptop. <laughs> and now for the car. Yep, it is the Datsun and it looks damaged. Great start. Look at that. It has paint chip. On the most visible spot ever. Lucky me. Oh, wait a minute. Is that supposed to be there? Nope, that looks like a paint chip. Because if I'm looking at this... If you can see it even there, I don't know. Yeah, you cannot see it. Okay, never mind. That. But I, I know that's a paint chip because you, on the bottom you can see you can like have this dirt on the car. 
Don't mind the cat in the background. He's just being annoying. Um, yeah. Little 510 Dotson. Nice. Out of my collection. Let's get into these. The 71 Dodge Demon Zamac. Some papers. And for some reason, the The lighting option keeps coming up every single time for no reason whatsoever. I don't know why. Um, yeah, so. And now I have a circle in front of me. Okay, now it's gone. Okay, that's my camera is doing weird stuff recently. So, yeah, Zaymac covered with cool flame colors. I mean, design. You got the plastic bottom with the plastic bumpers and lights for the front. Overall, a cool looking model. Next up, we'll get into this stickerized version. Oh, wow, that came off instantly. Some more stickers for my laptop. <laughs> Throw that out. There's the Mercury. And that, what does it say? Cranston Fire? That's a weird name. Engine 2. Well, it doesn't like red. It doesn't want to focus on the red. Oh, it's like a fire truck styled muscle car. Doesn't really. has a slight rolling issue to it, but eh. Nothing too crazy. Next up, Chevy SS. I think this is supposed to be like an old version of a Chevy Nova. At least by the bodywork, that's what it looks like. Yeah, the shape looks very much like an SS. SS Nova. I really like this old casting. I've seen the new ones, of course. I haven't, I haven't seen the new one in basic, I think. I think it's only in premium. I like this one, and I do... Like the new one, which is still, I don't think, available as a mainline. Whoa, that was a weird spin. Did I do that? Okay, no, that, that was my fault. Okay. Got some dirt on my mat. Okay, put that there. Uh, next up, the 66 Ford Fairlane GT. This one instantly came off because it's. Whoa, why is it so heavy? Whoa, this thing has a weight to it. Is it not? No, it's not. Okay, for first, I thought it was like metal on metal, but I know that looks plastic. I was confused there. That was weird. It's pretty heavy for what it is, for some reason. <laughs> there you go. A very nice looking muscle car. <clears throat> Next up, we have the Datsun Bluebird Wagon with the Momo red version. I know there's a black version also, and I think maybe a yellow one. I'm not 100% sure because I don't remember every everything. There's a little Datsun Wagon. Recently decided to collect this thing in every color I can. Recently got like the yellow version I'll probably show it in the future video or something but I'm not I don't think I'm gonna open those two at least not for now but I might show them in the future video just because next up the big big air Bel Air Zaymac and wanting to open this for a long time because I already have all the other versions on reopened and sitting on my shelf Soon going, may probably going into storage. Actually, it's probably gonna go into storage today, or not? I don't know. We'll see. But this thing is a beautiful model. Wants to run away. Of course, it has no glass because it's a Baja style vehicle. And I do like that. Makes it more realistic. Okay, now let's get to those anniversaries and actually open this 51st anniversary card that I missed last time. 
totally by accident. This is the 63 Chevy Nova. I think it's the Nova, right? And it just says 63 Chevy. Looks like a Nova. The front looks like a Nova. So I think it's a Nova. Yeah, there you go. A car that I missed out on last weeks. I mean, well, yeah, on the last video. There you go. And now for the 52 anniversary cars, let's start with these 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser. Doing a lot of main lines on this video. <laughs> because I have multiple versions and stuff. There you go, we got this. I have no idea what that col that color is called. So I'm gonna say orange. <laughs> because the side's orange. And of the ones that I got released this year, the or were made for next year, the 56th anniversary cars. Those have this color also, but they're like in this um Forgot the green color, it's basically in green and with this type of orange. Then the 68 Corvette Gas Monkey Garage. This, this model was this year as the treasure hunt. I know I have a friend who actually found one, lucky him. I don't collect super treasure hunts, some treasure hunts, depending if I want or like the model, or if I like how it overall looks like with the design, because I won't be getting, if, if there would be like, if they like release, let's say this demon, and then it, it has a very not, like it, it doesn't have a good looking design on it, which I don't like, I'm not gonna get the car. I just not, won't, because I don't want models in my collection that I don't like. That exception only goes for the um, 68, 69, and the 70 Dodge Chargers, because those I collect in every single color I can find. That is the only model that gets ex an exception. Okay, and last for the main lines is the 32 Ford Coupe. This is a very cool cast. I have almost every version I could have found fine for this one. Recently we got a 90s release of this model, which is cool, like black with flames. Probably will open it sometime in the future, we'll see. But overall, this I like this casting, it's very cool. Okay, now let's get into the higher stuff. Let's go for this guy, the 74 Escort R1600. Let's crack you open. So, for me, this premium, I have it for the first time ever, like this. Like, I don't have this model as a premium at all. At least I don't think so. No, I can't remember, so probably no, I don't. So, I wasn't planning to get it, but at least this version, but... And that was all I was offered and a tempting offer, so I agreed. So, why not? Nice roller details are fine for Hot Wheels cards, can't say anything bad about it. That's that. Put that side there. Next up, we have the team transport. The Corvette C8R and the carry-on truck. There we go, let's start with the truck. So for me, this I have this truck for the first time ever. So metal on metal, only the ramp is plastic. The rims are plastic, but the tires are rubber, of course. This is all metal. I think it is. Yeah, it's metal. 
So nothing much I can say about this truck. Like I said, I don't have any other team transports that have this truck. So this is my first truck in the collection. And here's the main reason why I got this, because I wanted this Corvette. And don't know if Mini GT makes this one. If they had or have coal, I will. I know I have pre-ordered the Chevy Transport uh, Mini GT truck, uh, like the Shelby one that I opened on one of my previous videos. Um, basically, Mini GT is gonna have another one, another truck like that, but with two different very uh, design versions of this Corvette. Uh, with that truck. Whoops. So, yeah. Um, cat is not... Not leaving, leaving me alone. So, there we go. That is the Corvette. Looking very cool and awesome. I'm going to put it up here and look at that. Amazing. Also, my tip. Test drive for the Corvette, yeah, nice. Does roll, so everything is fine with that. Let's put you away over there. And yet again, I forgot to do a thumbnail. So let's do it with the remaining cars that I'm still gonna, ooh, still gonna open. Let's do it this way. Let's do this and this. Yeah. I think this is going to be pretty nice. Or at least okay. Yeah. Okay, let's now continue on and let's get into the R worlds. So let's start with this guy, the 1984 Dodge Caravan. There are some premium facts for you if you want to read those. This thing comes in beige crystal coat with the, uh, like, woody wall or whatever it's called. So I do really love this casting. I'll be trying to get versions of this as much as I can. And for some reason, I don't know if I, I didn't notice this, maybe on the previous one, but look at that, the back windows and the front one, they're pretty blurry. Is that supposed to be like that? That's weird. Yeah, they're like, I don't know, either they're dirty or they're blurry. There's one, 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 one or the other. I'll clean that afterwards. Okay, that's that's weird. Didn't even notice that. I know that the front should be openable, but I don't know if it's different to the other one. Oh, there we go. So since I didn't bring the other one to compare, so I don't know if it's different from the Plymouth. There you go. Focus camera, please. Nice rims and everything, and I have the cat not leaving me alone. Cat, go away. Go away. And, uh, yeah, uh, here's the roof rack. <sighs> Sorry, the cat just completely blew me off, um, off my track. So, what does it say on this one? Caravan. So, easy as that, caravan. I think I drove this specific one once in my life, but it was owned by a friend of mine. So yeah, metal on metal, rubber tires, nice rubber walls, everything looks to be fine, it rolls amazingly, can't say anything bad about that. Then next up we have the 1979 Lincoln Continental Mark V. There are some premium facts if you want to read those, can pause. This one comes in the cream color. This thing is massive. Big, heavy, and very, very, very good looking. Mm. 
Nice, 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 nice. I'm not really a fan of when they do the interior in the same color as the car because it looks weird. Maybe it's for me only, but 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 I, I prefer when I do a different color for the interior, it makes the car look much, much better. Then we have 1979. Sorry for the shaking hands, but that's what it says on the back. We should have the openable hood. Which doesn't really want to open. Oh wait, no, there it goes. Got it. I don't want to force it anymore. I think that's good enough. There's your engine inside. And it shuts very well. I really love these rims. Very classic looking limousine style wheels. You have nice white walls. Rolls very good for what it is. And look at the comparison. Like the comparison. And this is like. Uh, for our world. They do a very good. Um, 164 size and that is how it's in real life like you might these were daily drivers back in the day of 70s and 80s and then these things came around and like in our days this thing is pretty big and this thing is it's just weird this is a family car this is a daily driver like what <laughs> how things have changed right we have gone from daily limos to, well, right now we have the electric cars, so. All the electric cars are showing up more and more everywhere. So there's our little Brie Datsun in there. I forgot how I got it. I really don't like how it's rolling inside of there, like unsecured. You'll see it doesn't have the plastic in there, so it's just cardboard container box for the car and there's our little Datsun it is very very tiny compared like to this thing like to the look like look at this it's tiny it is very very tiny I was shocked for the first time when I saw it but next to this thing it actually does feel accurate because uh Tarmac Works, they, they do also, they do like exact uh, size replicas if you put the cars next to them. Like, this Datsun in real life is actually very small. Like, everyone's used to them thinking like, oh, wagons are big and stuff like that. Nah, not all of them. There are some wagons out there that are actually very tiny. Got the separate exhaust, which is super cool. Metal base. At least I think it's metal base. I don't know. Maybe it's plastic. It looks metally. Yeah, it is metal because it has a nice weight to it. Got the separate little lights. I mean, not the lights. Uh, what do you call them? The uh, mirrors. Yes, the mirrors on the hood. Some of the old cars did that. Very cool. Nice detailing going on the front and the back. Was this it safe? It would yeah, breathe. There is our focus. Cool, cool, cool little car. Rolls, of course. Tiny little wheels and everything. And now let's check out the last car for today's video. So it's also the Datsun Bluebird 510 wagon. This one's the Moon Eyes version. So this one I have pre-cut, pre-open. Well, I haven't looked at it up close, but it is open and ready. So I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to keep this car. Maybe I will. I don't know. The plastic I'm definitely not going to keep. No, I don't think I'm going to need it. The paper can go. I'll just keep this guy. I'll keep the container. Maybe I'll need it in the future, so it's better to keep those. Here's the car itself. Why is it stuck? It is stuck to the plastic for some... Oh, wait, there we go. Okay. It was very tight. Okay. And now I'm curious, can I fit this in there? I don't think I can. Can I? 
It could be a tight squeeze. Mm, I'll check that after the video. video. So, because I don't know. And here's basically the same thing as that one. It is almost the same. So we got different front lights, I think. Start, yeah, we have the clear ones on that side. And this one has the, like the yellows on the middle. The front bumper is the same. Splitter the same. Wheels different. If it would focus, it would be amazing. Uh, different wheels, basically. Uh, go with moon. Overall, well, very looking. Oh, we got moon eyes on the back also. So nothing much different. Like it's only different. Like wheels, the design's different. The exhaust is not painted on this one. There you go. Like see, they're both like little tiny trucks. I mean, tiny wagons. Cool with the little more nice logo on the front. Do like that. Nice touch. So there you have it. Hope you liked the video. This was a pretty long one, actually. I wasn't expecting this bit to be this long. Sorry for the meowing in the background. The cat wasn't really leaving me alone, and I think he's now sleeping next to my legs. Okay. Um, uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Yeah, we got some interesting. And the cat is awake now. I should have opened my mouth. <laughs> so yeah, had some disturbance. I hope the shiny bright light doesn't didn't uh, didn't kill anybody's eyes. I don't know why my camera decided to go full on brightness for no reason. I'll eventually get that fixed. So that's that. Yeah. So leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.